The Rams took a Hail Mary one year ago and traded for Matthew Stafford to try to get an upgrade at the quarterback position. And Los Angeles got it, kind of. The Rams won the Super Bowl. Let's be real here, that's all that matters. You win a ring, it doesn't matter what else happens in the scheme of things. But that doesn't change the fact that Stafford hasn't been good for quite some time. Stafford looked like a completely different player at times in 2021. You remember when he first got to Los Angeles and how good he was? Stafford was on a ridiculous tear. Media was already talking about him being MVP, and then everything fell apart. Through the first eight games, Stafford threw 22 touchdowns to four interceptions, had a passer rating of 118, 9.1 yards per attempt, and was sacked seven times. I don't know if something spooked Matthew Stafford or what, but after Halloween, he was a completely different player. Over the last nine games of the regular season, compared to the first eight, Stafford only had 19 touchdowns, threw 13 interceptions. 13. His passer rating went down to 90.4, yards per attempt went down to 7.3, and he got sacked 23 times. See, here's what doesn't make sense, though. Stafford was great in the playoffs for the first two games. He had a 131.5 passer rating, 10.3 yards per attempt, was only sacked three times, and had four touchdowns without a single interception. He looked good, and then he wasn't as great in the NFC Championship and the Super Bowl. He combined for five touchdowns to three interceptions. We all kind of know that it should have been more Jaquaski Tart. You it wasn't as game altering as that Asante Samuel drop pick. That certainly would have secured a perfect season for the Patriots in 2007, but Tart could have sent the 49ers really close to the Super Bowl. Instead, the Rams ended up tying and winning the game after outscoring San Francisco 13-0 in the fourth. Of course, two weeks later, they beat the Bengals after a Cooper Cup touchdown late in the fourth quarter. See, it, it really doesn't matter that Stafford is struggling now, really. The ultimate goal in the NFL is to win a Super Bowl. The Rams did, and they would never take back that Stafford trade now. The Rams kicked off the brand new NFL season on Thursday Night Football, and uh, it went really, really bad. Los Angeles got kicked around, and Stafford looked terrible. He ended up completing 29 of 41 passes for 240 yards and a touchdown, but it came with three interceptions. It was against the Bills, so, I mean, easier said than done, but Los Angeles lost 31-10. to Absolutely brutal. The Rams got a win in Week 2 against the Falcons, and nobody really expected much from the Falcons. Crazy enough, Atlanta was actually down 28-3 to and was, oh my gosh, they were so close to a comeback, but the Rams escaped 31-27. Stafford went 27 of 36 for 272 yards and three touchdowns, but that came with two interceptions. Week three is the only week so far this season that Stafford did not throw a pick, but he also didn't throw a touchdown. He completed 18 to 25 for 249, and most importantly, the Rams did beat the Cardinals 20 to 12. In general, the Rams offense just looked horrible in week four, and that was true for Stafford too. 32 of 48 for 254 yards, no touchdowns, but he did throw a pick. It hasn't been pretty for Matthew Stafford through four weeks. That's just the reality. An 81.4 passer rating, 1,015 yards, only four touchdowns, and six interceptions. Week four didn't go much better for Stafford or the Rams. The Cowboys without Dak Prescott, but to be fair, Dallas has gone 4-0 without him. The Cowboys just kind of had their way with LA. Stafford was okay, I guess. He went 28 of 42 for 308 yards and a touchdown, two and an interception. Another pick. The run game was atrocious. Cam Akers only rushed for 33 yards on 13 carries for two and a half yards per carry. Just another bad day and the Rams lost 22 to 10. The rough season for Stafford and the Rams just continues. He had 17 interceptions in 2021. He led the league and he is well on his way again. He was so good for the first half of that first season in LA and he hasn't looked like that guy at all since. So what happened? Well, there is a pretty unfortunate theory. The elbow. We've seen Matt Matthew Stafford fight through plenty of injuries in his career. Who could forget that iconic shoulder injury that he still played through when he was in Detroit? Well, this offseason, Stafford missed some practice time with an elbow injury, and Sean McVay did say it was a bit abnormal. Stafford ended up having surgery on his elbow, and it was supposed to help with the pain that he had during the 2021 
on season and to help prepare for this year. The injury is expected to linger pretty much all season. The good news is that he apparently feels much better this time this season than he did last year. There haven't been any limitations on Stafford this year so far, but there is a clear reason for some of his struggles. The struggles have gone much deeper than Matthew Stafford though, and injuries haven't helped. You know, center Coleman Shelton is out four to six weeks with a high ankle sprain and safety Jordan Fuller went down with a hamstring injury and he's going to miss two to four weeks. Both of those came after that loss to the 49ers. The center before Shelton, Brian Allen, is still recovering from a knee injury that he suffered in week one and guard David Edwards is still in concussion protocol even after he didn't play against San Francisco. The line is a mess and it's no wonder Stafford got sacked seven times against the 49ers but it's been an all-season issue. I mean he got sacked seven times against the Bills. That obviously hasn't helped the run game. Cam Akers who he's actually looked like decent like physically for a guy coming off of an Achilles injury because that's so difficult to do. Still he hasn't been very productive. In four weeks he has just over 100 yards and a single touchdown with 3.1 yards per carry. Daryl Henderson has really ended up being the starter over him but still not really great. 4.1 yards per carry for 138 yards and a touchdown. The Rams offensive struggles are very real. Not for Cooper Cup though. I mean he's he is still a beast. He's averaging over 100 yards per game still and he has three touchdowns. That Cup guy is pretty good. We already knew that. That being said we really expected Allen Robinson to be too. I mean, man, we even made a video about how Robinson was going to go crazy this season. That just hasn't been the case at all. He doesn't even have 100 yards all year. That is just horrible. The number two wide receiver behind Cup only has 140 yards, and that is Ben Skaronic, a 2021 seventh rounder. Tyler Higby has been pretty productive from the tight end position. He has 224 yards, solid, but the offense just hasn't been able to operate well. Luckily, the defense has been much better. Overall, the Rams still have one of the best defenses in the league, and that's pretty easy to do with the guys on that roster. Aaron Donald, you know, I don't need to say much about him. Everyone knows that he's one of, if not the best player in the league. Jalen Ramsey has still been a very really good corner, and Bobby Wagner has turned out being a really nice signing with what he's done so far. The Rams' rush defense is arguably the best in the NFL. There are some moments of struggle in coverage or in pass rush, but LA is figuring it out. It feels like the Rams' back-to-back -back hopes have come to a pretty screeching halt, but not so fast. Let me put all my bias aside, and I'll, I'll be honest here, I love Matthew Stafford. He's one of my favorite players in the league, and I've been rooting for him as long as I can remember, but there's no doubt that he's really struggled at times, and he simply wasn't very good late last season and early this year. It sucks, but that is just the reality. I feel like it can't be that overly serious, the elbow injury. Like, it's a likely something that the Rams think would go away. Stafford is only 34 years old, and I just, I feel like there's no way LA would have given him that four-year, $160 million deal if they didn't think he could play. I will say, there is something wild about Jared Goff balling out for the Lions this year while Stafford struggles, but everyone knows that Stafford was a massive upgrade over Goff. The Rams are still a good team, and Sean McVay is still a very good coach. Everyone in the NFC West is 2-2 two two through 4 weeks, but the Rams probably are still the favorite. I don't think anyone actually thinks the Seahawks are good, and the Cardinals have been suspect at best. I think it may be a two-team race between the Rams and the 49ers. Remember, San Francisco has played in two of the last three NFC championships. That being said, the Rams have played in two of the last four Super Bowls. The Rams are still legit, whether or not Matthew Stafford is playing like Matthew Stafford of old.